I greet you all again in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are continuing with our studies for this week. And not forgetting the theme for this week is Walk the Talk. And our memory text is coming from the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 23. Let's have a word of prayer. Kind and loving Father in heaven, we thank you for the gift of life you have given unto us. We thank you for your upbringing. Lord, we, we pray that you keep being nice leaders as we, we learn from you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today we are going to learn about this lady in the Bible from the book of Mark chapter 5. We shall read from verse 22 as we slow down. It says, and behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus, by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her that she may be made, she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him. And much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood to love years also was following. This lady was following. We see like Jesus was called for a different purpose at this time round. It was Jairus. Her daughter was sick at the point of death. But among the people who followed Jesus, remember, wherever he, he could be, people could crowd the place and be yearning to come near him. So, among the, clou- the crowd, there was this lady. This lady had an issue of blood for 12 years. I think, ladies, you can imagine how this, this lady was suffering. 12 years, you're not... No holiday to love years. Let's look. And had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. You know, when you have a certain disease, when you have a certain condition, you, you always yearn for help. You, see, you seek for advice. And in the end, all of these cost they cost us a lot. And for this letter, therefore, her it was worsening the situation. Let's continue in verse 27. When she she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Let's continue. For for she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Do you know this is this is faith? You just know this person is able. I don't need I don't need for him to touch me. I don't need for him to say a special prayer on me. I just need to touch. I just need to to have faith in this person, this pers- this woman, she believed minus, minus seeing, let me see, because she just heard of the works of Jesus Christ and all she wanted was just to touch on, her, on Jesus' clothes. We shall continue. And he straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. In the moment you have faith, you will act by it. If you have faith, nobody needs to push you. You know the right thing to do. If you have faith, then it is easier for God to help you. If you have faith, this lady, like, it's like Jesus, the faith of this 
this lady was drawing Jesus close to this stage because of all that crowd that was around. How come she got a chance? When, when you have faith within you in Jesus Christ, there is a way he draws near to you. He helps you exercise your faith. But if you don't have faith, how can he help you to exercise it? If you've not taken a step to, to grow faith in you, grow faith for Jesus Christ, in him only. Let's continue. In verse 30, it says, And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched me? You see, God can differentiate a touch of faith. You can be there saying, May I have faith? May I have faith? Does really God know about your faith? Among, have you ever been in a crowd? Can you really sense that there is someone has touched you? A lot of people were touching Jesus, but how come he could say that mm, there is someone who has touched me with faith? That special touch. It was a crowd of people. A lot of people were touching Jesus, but he noticed this touch of faith. When we have faith within us, in Jesus Christ, then he can know. And when you have it, he will help you to exercise it. The, the cloud, it was, a lot of people were there. A lot of people are touching Jesus, but how come he knew that there is someone who has touched me with faith? And when you have faith, even God will help you to exercise it. He will draw closer to you to help you exercise your faith. Let's continue in verse 31. And his, and his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, who touched me? You see, <laughs> even the disciples are wondering, ah, with all these people around, you're saying, who touched me with all, even you're, you're seeing we are just so close to each other, so close to one another, there is no, there is no way you can pass, and you're saying, who touched me? There is a point here. God can differentiate a touch of faith because he knows our thoughts. He knows when you're lying to him, where you have faith, and he knows when you mean it, when you really do have it. Do you walk the talk? I have faith in Jesus Christ. I have faith in Jesus Christ. When he, when he tells you you don't need this, you. You need this at this moment when you're praying for some other thing and he gives you another thing. Do you cling on to that that he has given you? Do you have faith in that that he has given you? Or you want to first try your own things, then after when they fail, you come to him. If we have faith in Jesus Christ, whichever thing he brings for us, it is the best thing for us. We shall continue in verse 32. And he looked around about and see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. Most of us, when you, when you do something, you shy away, you run. But this led you. Because she knew whom she had believed. She knew whom she had faith in. She didn't even shy away. She didn't run away from Jesus. She came forward and said, I was the one who touched you. You know, us when we get problems, we run away from Jesus. Our faith 
keeps on declining because we've gotten problems, we've gotten challenges, and that's not good. In most cases, when when you do something and you feel like you lack faith, there is a way even you yourself you distance yourself from Jesus Christ. Because my many times you be like, eh, I feel guilty. But when you believe in him, he's surely going to save you. One thing you have to remember is that if you have a past, you have to forget it and move on with Jesus Christ. We shall continue in verse 34. And he said unto her daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of the plague. By the time Jesus is mentioning this, the Lord is already healed because of her faith. And remember, in all, all the people that Jesus healed, he mentioned this, your faith has healed you. We really, Jesus, come to you as you're praying and be like, Maggie, your faith has healed you. Maggie, your faith will make you reach heaven. Maggie, your faith will give you whichever you're, you're praying for. Will really God say that to you? When you're praying, do you have faith? Can he mention it that your faith has made you well? Our faith. Do we have faith? How strong is it? We shall read in Matthew chapter 9 verse 4 and it says and Jesus knowing their thoughts said wherefore think ye evil in your hearts I want I want to leave this with us that over you do what over you do what Jesus knows he knows our thoughts there is no you can lie to him what you just have to do is to to ask for his guidance, his help, for him to strengthen you and you grow that faith he wants from you. There is no way you can lie to him that I have faith. Okay, you can lie to people around you, but him, I beg you, you just pray to him. He can strengthen you. If you see that you're yearning for it, he will help you to exercise your faith. He will make a way for you. So, my prayer is, we copy this lady. For her, she was like, if I may, by just touch on his garment, everything will be made. So, my prayer is, we continue Listening and we continue learning from these Bible characters. I pray may God bless you throughout this week and may we continue learning from Him. I pray we get that faith from Him. He's the only one who can strengthen our faith. <laughs>